The pathogenesis of the plague is composed of the transmission of infection from fleas to the mammalian host and the host response to the infection. So the fleas become infected by feeding on a host blood contaminated with the bacteria Yersinia pestis, in this case, an infected rat. Yersinia pestis colonizes the flea gut and it replicates. It replicates so much that it blocks the flea's intestines, which in turn results in the starvation of the flea. This causes the flea to regurgitate bacteria with each bite. This enables Yersinia pestis to be transmitted to the host. In humans, the bacteria is carried by the lymph nodes. It is here where there is intense inflammatory reactions that creates a swollen lymph node in the armpit or the groinal region. The unique thing about Yersinia pestis is that it can survive and proliferate in phagocytic cells. Because of this bacterial property, it causes damage to the immune cell functions. Bacteria in the blood may give rise to pneumonia, sepsis, and even rupture the blood vessels in various organs. Across the time span of 2-7 to seven days, Yersinia pestis has overtaken many tissues across the body, resulting in systemic inflammatory response syndrome, which may bring about bleeding, organ failure, and shock. Purpuric skin lesions surface on the extremities and trunk. They begin with superficial reddening of the skin and eventually transform into dark purple tumors. Gangrene occurs at the tips of the fingers, toes, ears, and nose, and eventually the victim succumbs to death.